Hi, um, so these are a couple of exercises just to relax the hand. Um, so you're trying to um, get all the fingers ideally on the on the full board at the same time. So keeping your hand position. Um, yeah. So you can't see the hand position there, but you're just trying to keep keep your hand as much as possible straight in line with the keyboard, with the fingers curved. Yeah, curved on the tips. Okay, and with a little gap underneath with the thumb nice and loose. Okay, so it's really hard actually um, to stop your fingers from going up because actually we're so used to doing things, you know, you're used to grabbing things all at once. So you have to unlearn that <laughs> with piano. You have to do individual fingers and keep them relaxed, which is also quite, it's not normal. <laughs> so yeah, so basically what we're doing is that you're just gonna go um, between, uh, so you're just trying to kind of allow, first of all, the first relaxation one is just to allow a bit of, uh, allow your wrist to be loose and relax, okay? So the weight is in the arm, so you're feeling the heaviness of the arm and you're just gonna come down onto the piano and play the C, middle C, and just play the C and release tension and play the E with finger three, not letting the fingers go up there, I was just trying to show you where I was. Release tension and play the G and release the tension, okay? But keeping all the fingers on the full board at the same time, okay? So that's a, an exercise you can do to practice the wrist and, and, and just releasing a bit of tension. And another exercise you can do is you're playing D and F with fingers two and four. Okay, not in this position, I'm just showing you where I am. And then what I'd like you to do is, well, there's two different exercises you can do. So you, you're holding these down throughout the D and the F and you can go, this is from dozen a day, so. make sure all the fingers are touching yeah and you could also try it with with separate fingers as well just to get the hang of them staying on the full board so and releasing the wrist you can see my you know my finger even after all these years it still naturally wants to go up a bit so yeah it's something that is quite tricky at the beginning but yeah just maybe give it a go with those two exercises um and just remember that the, you know, the weight's coming from the arm, yeah? So releasing the wrist as well when you're playing. Okay, good luck with those. Okay, thanks.